Hello everyone. Let's say you have created a new logo animation using Adobe Animate CC and you are pretty happy with that. Uh, but possibly you may want to replace that logo image with other logo images as well by keeping the same animations. So today I'm going to show you how to replace the, your uh, logo images only by keeping the same animation sequences. Please don't forget to subscribe and set the notification for my latest video. And let's get started. Okay, so um, this is what we're going to do today. So let me show you this. The first one is... So I'm rotating clockwise and counterclockwise and getting bigger and smaller and bigger. And then by keeping this animation, uh, we're going to just replace the logo image only. Now this is number two. Same animation, same sequences with different logo design. And the third, the last one. Same animation, same sequences with different logo. Okay, so first let's create a new Adobe Animate CC document. Uh, just default setting, 640 by 480 pixel, 24 frame rate, and HTML5 canvas. So create it. Okay, so first thing is, uh, please download the, um, uh, the three logo sample files uh, I provided in the link um, in my description. So um, go to File, Import to my library. And then uh, there are three logos, SVG files, created in uh, Illustrator as a vector graphics. Logo one, two, three. Three of them. And please check the first uh, radio button on top. Import all path into the same layer and frame. First one, second one, and the last, third one. So check the library. So there must be three logos. One, two, three. Okay. So, first, I'm going to make a kind of really simple animation using my first logo design. So place it. Let me open my um, alignment. Check the align to stage so I can center it on my stage. Okay, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. By holding down the shift key, make it smaller, like about this size. Okay. Then now, um, Highlight the frame number 24, uh, which is a one second mark. Insert a keyframe by clicking on this the insert keyframe button. And place your mouse cursor somewhere in between 1 and 24, anywhere. Hold down the um, control key or right click. Then choose uh, create classic twin. Okay, so nothing's happening yet. So I place your playhead, this blue tab on first keyframe. Now select your logo. Choose free transform tool. Hold down the shift key. I'm gonna make it pretty big. Huge. Like this. Okay. And highlight the first keyframe still. Open properties panel. I'm going to rotate it like a clockwise so we can have something like this okay uh, what I'm gonna do is let me select the first keyframe again I'm going to change my ease option uh, maybe I'm minus 100 so I can have a little bit different speed getting faster okay so first one is done now Highlight the frame number 48, which is the um, uh, two second mark. Insert a keyframe. Then hold down the control and then I click anywhere in between one second and two second mark and choose the uh, create classic twin. So this time I'm going to rotate uh, counterclockwise. And then on my second keyframe, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger by holding down the shift key. So this is happening. Clockwise, counterclockwise. Okay. And then 
I'm gonna make it a little bit uh, faster now. So highlight the frame number 60 now, insert another keyframe, hold down the control and click somewhere in between, anywhere, and create classic twin. On frame number 60, by holding down the shift key, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, like that. Okay. And then, three second mark, insert a keyframe. Hold down the control or right click and click somewhere in between, anywhere, and create classic twin. Then on the very last keyframe, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So eventually we will have something like this. Counterclockwise, clockwise, No, clockwise, counterclockwise. Okay. So this is really kind of a simple animation, but um, let me say uh, I'm pretty happy with that, and then um, uh, I may want to keep using it for other logos. So um, this time I'm going to I'm going to show you how to replace this image with my logo number two and logo number three by keeping the same animation. So what you need to do is just to change and swap the image on each keyframe and that's gonna be it. So I highlight the first keyframe here. Um, so one more thing, let me on frame number one uh, in the properties panel I'm going to change the alpha value. So it's kind of fading in like this. Okay, so highlight the frame number one, and there's nothing. Looks like there's nothing, uh, but I'm uh, there is something, but um, the alpha value is the hundred percent, uh, zero percent. So we see nothing. So click on the center point. Now see that properties panel. It shows me information about this uh, logo, and then in the properties panel in the object option, you're gonna see that two arrow heads. On both direction so we're gonna swap it with logo number two okay now second keyframe click on your image your logo in the properties panel and object category click on the swap symbol button choose the end number two I will do the same thing for each keyframe swap And no, and here. Swap number two and the last number two. Let me play it. See? Now let me try the third one. First keyframe, highlight the first keyframe. Click on the center point. Now in the properties panel and the object option, choose the swap button. Now select the logo number three, that is VG. Okay. And the second keyframe, select the logo, swap number three. Next keyframe, click and swap to number three. And the last key, next keyframe, just the same thing. So this is kind of so as you uh, yeah you save this file as a kind of one logo animation like number one. Then when you want to keep using this, then you just need to change it via your logos. Swap it so we can save time. So this is the third one. Okay. Yep, so I hope that this um, is helpful. And then that's it for today. So uh, thanks for watching and then I'll see you next time. Bye.